Hey, 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 I have a question for you. Are you ill on purpose? Now, I know that is possibly a question that could trigger people, could trigger you if you are suffering from an illness. But can I tell you a story anyway? Okay, and just just get beyond the triggering and see if there is any truth for you so that you can move into healing. Okay, now I had asthma growing up and it could get quite bad at times. And I used it, though, to get out of doing things that I didn't want to do. In fact, I learned very early on that being ill had the effect of covering a multitude of sins. And it got me lots of attention. My mom had to come and get me from boarding school whenever I got asthma, <laughs> basically, or typhoid fever was another one that I used. Um, I got to chill out and not do very much until I was lugged back to school again. So whenever things were not going the way I would want them, wanted them to go, and if I wanted to avoid any circumstances, then I could use illness or some kind of a sad story. Yeah, I know. <laughs> kind of evil, right? Anyway, I got to thinking about this last night, in the middle of the night, as my um, daughter came crawling into my bed, ultimately because she was having a, an asthmatic thing going on. She's not really suffering with it right now, so no worries. Um, I felt... Spirit kind of remind me at this point about how we as adults do learn these patterns as children, but then we forget. We forget that we learned once upon a time that the way to avoid facing up to life was simply to have a sad story that no one could question. After all, we couldn't be expected to play full out if we were ill or if we were in some way wounded, whether emotionally or physically. And yes, yes, you may even be really, truly ill. I'm not saying that you're faking it. I'm not. But can I tell you something that I did once, and, and it may make you annoyed, I know, I know, I know, I've said this already, but I really want to speak to those who are looking to be relieved or to be healed. It may apply to you, it may not, but consider, okay? Now, there was once upon a time, again, I willed myself to be really ill. I got kicked off the, um, the marching team, so that we were marching for sports day, and I got kicked off the team, having really wanted to be on the team, I got kicked off because I couldn't keep my arms straight, <laughs> okay? And, and so I was really ashamed. I was really ashamed of it. I was really ashamed that I couldn't just march, for goodness sake. How hard is marching, really? And so I made an inner vow that I would be ill on the day that they actually did the performance. Because then I could say, hey, it's just because I was ill. That's why. It's nothing to do with being kicked out. And guess what? On the day of the actual performance, I was incredibly ill. As in really ill. This wasn't faking it, nothing. I was ill, okay? I was ill, and I found myself thinking, why did I make this promise to myself? I hadn't realized just how powerful I could be. And that's what we forget as human beings at times. We forget how pretty powerful we are, okay? So only you know the circumstances of your life. And as I said, I know that some will feel attacked or some other such thing and tell me that I don't understand and that I've been ill for so long. And yes, you are right. I don't, I'm not in your skin. I don't, I don't know how it feels to you. I do, however, know that it is very real. I'm not taking that away. I'm not saying that it's, that you're faking it or anything like that. I am, however, asking you to go deeper than the appearance of illness, to asking yourself these questions. Did you ever make an internal decision to play ill because it got your parents' love and attention? Did you grow up in a household where it was the only way to get anyone to pay attention to you? Maybe there was a heck of a lot of you, and the only way to get attention was to be the illest or to have some kind of reason or something. Did you grow up vying for attention with your siblings or your cousins? I had a household full of cousins and fam and brothers and sister and everyone lived in my home. <laughs> okay, so yes, there was a, a, an element of vying for attention. And is it at all possible that you have brought that tendency into adult life? And it takes courage to admit this, and you only have to admit it to yourself to begin with, okay? But it could also be the start of your healing, if this is even slightly the case. Or if you feel a reluctant kind of resonance inside of you that says, well, maybe there's some truth, if I don't want to know it. I get that, but you know what, just to yourself. Because awareness is always the first step. Now, it may not be illness as such. It may just be that, that you have these dramas and these sad stories and that from the past or from your childhood, and they shield you from having to live life fully and deliberately at the moment. You can just tell yourself and anybody that will listen to you your sad story, and you give yourself a pass, just like I used to do, okay? And sometimes it's simply a learned behavior, and so it takes a lot of self-awareness, as I said, to unlearn it. 
Does that mean that every illness and every single story out there has its roots in avoiding dealing with the present and a desire for attention? No, that's not what I'm saying at all. However, there are a lot that do. Because we are very powerful creatures. We really are. And what we dwell upon will manifest in our physical bodies. And it takes a heck of a lot of dwelling on the positive to turn it around. After all, you know, you're dealing with about more than 30 years worth of dwelling on how to get attention and how to avoid uncomfortable situations, as opposed to a few days of trying to turn it around. Okay. Self-awareness starts the process of healing. So you may as well start doing that. Okay. And you do want to be healed, right? You do, right? Right, right, right. Okay. Particularly if it's going to lead you to a life of abundance, fulfillment, and freedom. You do want that, right? So if you're willing to face the dark sides of yourself and love yourself back to the light, listen, see if it resonates, start doing the internal work to free yourself from this. And honey, I, I am going to be teaching a process of self-healing in Take Back the Years and Rise. So if this does resonate, come to the training call, which I'm doing, or get the recording, depending on when you're listening to this, at rosemaryandonynight.com forward slash take back the years. Okay, it's called Take Back the Years and rise. Okay, so it's rhythmainonunite.com forward slash take back the years. I'd love to give you an intuitive reading if you're able to come live. If you're listening to the recording still, you will get, you will know how to start doing that internal healing. Until the next time, much amazing love. Bye.